get started. You're brave. Get started. Just um, an introduction to myself. My name is John. I'm going to go turn down this one. And I'm a wizard. Okay, my name is John, and I uh, want to thank Nancy for bringing me into her home. I actually want to thank Kathy because Nancy booked off Kathy's show that I had about a month and a half ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you guys a, a few things that Nancy's going to be able to earn tonight being a host for the Pampered Chef. I'm going to pass around a season's best and there's all kinds of pens up here. And what I'd like you guys to do is just write a little note to Nancy in here for when she looks in here, just a little memorabilia that you were at her Pampered Chef show. Because it's going to be the best one she's ever had. <laughs> ever, ever. Ever. So, Kath, I'm going to start with you because oh, I'll right just me? keep you quiet for a minute. Oh, <laughs> I've known <laughs> Kathy for years. Kathy used to live next door to my brother. Um, just a little history about myself. I was a Chicago policeman for 17 years. I was injured on the job. My sister was selling paper chef, and she's like, John, try it. I said, you got it crazy. I said, I was a paramedic for 15 years. I was a policeman for 17. I'm not selling paper chef. She hounded me, hounded me, hounded me, so I joined, just to shut her up. I did nothing, nothing at all for six months, and the, our director called me, and they're like, John, if you don't put in a show, you're done. I'm like, okay, I'm done. You know, no big thing. So anyways, to keep my sister um, on the down low, I put in a $150 show, and I began my business in February of 2011. Since February 2011, as of today, I have 67 people on my team, which has been phenomenal. I made director within five months and an advanced director within nine. I always say, Pamper Chef, whoop, whoop. yeah. It's the best business I, I ever thought that I would be in. If I knew when I joined what I knew after six months, I, I would have been way ahead of this game. Enjoy it. It's great to be a guy in this business and come and see all you beautiful women. Um, but uh, we're going to cook some really quick and easy recipes tonight. Sandy is one of my, well, my only director until the end of the month. Sandy was my first recruit. She made director within a year, which was a lot of fun. And we're moving up the ladder together. So I'm going to go, if you guys have any questions, you want to use any of the tools, I use them every day. They're here for you guys to use them. If you want to touch them, feel them, pick them up, throw them at somebody, whatever you want to do. Just don't stab anybody. Just make sure. So when we got here, we decided we were going to make, it's the, um, on the page nine of the season's best. And speaking of the season's best... I'm sorry. What are your two ladies' names? I'm sorry, I can't oh, see your name. Too. Annette Mary. She Annette so Mary. I always get. Ah, <laughs> 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 she knows the way to do it. Well. Well, anyways, Annette Mary. What I always do is the first thing you know, person who arrives is the guest. I give them a season's best. Oh, yes. But now you're taking point that you were here with her. Yeah. I am. I actually yeah. but you know what? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 sorry
to put her dip in, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to make a taco bowl today, too. But it's not going to have any of those preservatives or additives in it. So if you can see it, it's actually up here. And what it is, it's a 12-inch tortilla. You take a 12-inch tortilla and you spray it with um, olive oil or canola oil, whatever you put in here. Does anybody know why we spray our own <coughs> canola oil or olive oil in our own sprayers and not use Pam? Why don't we use Pam? Pam is the one. Use, use me. Pam, use destroy me. Use me. Do you know when you spray <laughs> Pam in your pan and you're using your, your spatula and you're, you know, you're scraping that Pam around? There's little yes. chemicals that are... The, you have to use a magnifying glass to see it. It scratches all your nonstick pans. Pam is one of the worst things that you can ever put in a nonstick pan. So that's why we use our own oil. And all you have to do, this is our aerosol can, is you just pump it, spray it on, and it's just like using Pam. But the one thing you have to remember to do is to burp. Did you hear that? you got to burp your baby. You have to burp. It's like you Tupperware. You burp it. Tupperware. I'm sorry. What was the name of that yeah, How do you burp it? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> John, John how do you burp it? Yes. You just twist the cap. Twist the cap. Yeah. You just twist the cap and the air comes out. Do you burp it before oh. or after? After. You pump it to get the, the air in there, and then you spray, and then you burp. And the reason why we burp is because you don't want all the oil sitting inside the tube, and then it gets all crumbly. You do get two um, actual um, tubes in the sprayer. You get two of them to go with because. After a while, they do uh, grow it up. So that's why we use that. So what I did was is I sprayed it on the tortilla, and I took a fork, and I poked many holes over the top. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my phone. Sorry. And this is a round-covered baker, which is also a stone. It's actually the baby of the uh, deep-covered baker. This is the big one. And this is the baby. And what I did was is I turned it upside down and I placed the tortilla over the top of it. And it kind of folded over and I put it in the microwave for four minutes. And this is the bowl that came out. Pretty nice. Wow. Right? Wow. It's a tortilla bowl. It's a tortilla yeah, bowl. Right. Right? Only thing I used was, was uh, olive oil. This is what you used, right, John? Yes. That's the tortillas that I used. Oh, and they're kind of fancy if you're having a party or something. And people are going to go, oh, wow, how'd you do that? It was four minutes in the microwave. Yeah. And then uh, the dip that's in there is a, uh, it's got corn. It's, um, I kept the avocado out because some people are allergic to avocados, and there is avocado there. But there's uh, sour cream, cheese, tomatoes, refried beans. It's an awesome dip. There's chips there. You guys are more than welcome to eat it now or save it for later. So what I'm going to show you guys is, you saw that we used the stone already. We used it for the tortilla. Now this is the magic pot. Pamper Chef calls it the magic pot. And what it is, it's a stone. Does anybody here not have a stone? A Pamper Chef stone? Like that or just any stone? Any stone. Okay. Since everybody, mostly everybody has a stone, can somebody tell me how you clean a stone? Scraper. 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 Just scraper. Water. water and scraper. Everybody's like, oh, soap. You know, you don't put soap on it? No, you do not put soap on it. And then the blacker the stone gets, the better it is, the more seasoned it is. I've been to shows where people come with their stone and it's getting really dark and they're like, ooh, I need a new stone. Well, you could buy a new stone, I'll allow you to, and I'll keep yours. Because it's phenomenal. <laughs> this one is probably about a year old. And you can see where it's getting a little bit dark compared to a new one. See the difference in the two? Now, this goes in the microwave, it goes in the oven, goes in the freezer, goes anywhere you want it to go. However, I am going to show you guys, and I was, Annette, right? I was telling Annette that yesterday I had a, a whip cancer fundraiser, and I thought, let's do something really fun that people are going to go like, really? I took two pork tenderloins, put them in here, and I put a smoky barbecue rub on each of the tenderloins, covered the vessel, and put it into the microwave for 10 minutes. I took it out of the microwave. It's 10 minutes in, 10 minutes resting. Done. 20 minutes for a pork tender done, two of them. And then what I did was I took a barbecue sauce, poured it over it, and I used the salad choppers. My two favorite tools in all of Pampered Chef are my deep covered baker and my salad choppers. And you guys are going to see it in a few minutes because I'm going to do a chicken fajita in 17 minutes in the microwave with raw chicken and everything. People are like, oh, microwave, I don't like microwave cooking, it's kind of nasty. Well, I agree with you a long time ago, until I got into this business and I found out about this stone. 
And what this stone is, is if you take it and put it in your microwave, it's like taking a brick oven and sticking it in your microwave because the microwaves hit the stone, not the food. Once it's covered, it's sealed. And it, you're going to see the juices that are going to come from this chicken. I put nothing in here with, with the chicken. There's no juices whatsoever. And I actually did a pasta at Kathy's where I did the chicken first. It was amazing. I mean, there's like broth. from. He had just chicken tenders, and he cooked it, and there was like broth, chicken broth. Yeah, if you take, in this baker, if you put two chicken breasts eight minutes in the microwave, it would be the best chicken you ever had. You can take a full roaster chicken, put it in here, put a, your seasoning, whatever you want on it, put it in the microwave, and in 30 minutes it's done. Very, very juicy and tender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two green peppers, a red pepper and an onion. Now, how many people when they cut their green pepper, they take it and they go down <coughs> the middle and they pull it out and it's all full of seeds, right? right? Right. Let me show you guys a really nice easy way. Right down the side. No seeds. No seeds. Kind of nice, right? Now, what's nice about it is if you, if you don't need the whole green pepper, the seeds are what keep your pepper fresh. You leave it in there, you throw it in a bag, you throw it in the refrigerator, and it keeps the, the pepper actually fresh. I did not know that either. Huh? I said, what a great tip. Yeah, I don't, I, yeah. Are you writing notes? Listen. I am just covering them all down. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw the peppers in as I, I'm just going to throw the peppers in as I cut them. The, who said the barbecue cake in the batter bowl? I did. Right? Okay, so this lady calls up Pampered Chef and she said, you know, I was at a show and they talked about the Barbie cake in the, bam in the batter bowl. She goes, but the Barbie melted. Oh dear. oh dear. She did not. Oh, she, yeah, she, cooked she cooked Barbie. She cooked Barbie. She cooked Barbie. So I am telling you, yes, you can. This is the batter bowl. You can make a Barbie cake in here, but don't cook Barbie. We have to turn it upside down to have a beautiful We're going to show you, you. It's a cake. You can put the cake. We're going to show you guys a 10 minute cake in here. And then I'm going to show you that you could do an appetizer, a meal, and dessert all in here in one shot. I better make some more sangria, but good yeah, job. Yeah, I'm sure. So, I put the, the red pepper, I put the green pepper, and I'm going to put an onion. John, I have to interrupt. So, is there a cookbook that gives all these recipes, too? If you bought that, there is a deep covered baker cookbook in here, back in the cookbook section. However, if you did purchase this, I would give you, I would email you guys an e cookbook, and it's got 52 pages of recipes and a lot of fun recipes. You could do like a quick um, lasagna, uh, like a Mexican lasagna that's really good. You put tortillas in the bottom. You can do a regular lasagna. You can actually put ground beef in here and cook it in here in the microwave in eight minutes. Yeah, no, it's a great question because I bought it. Now, if you did buy this, I'd mail you the same cookbook, which you just cut the recipes in half. Right. Now, does anybody have an apple wedger? Oh, yes. We all like it for the apple, right? And the core, too. Guess what it's good for? Oh, God, I never told you. All you do? Get out. Cut the onion. You what? just put the onion. I never thought of doing that. Look at that, huh? And then you can just take the middle. It's kind of fun because you know what? I did um, the second person in charge of Pampered Chef show last November. And there was 21 people from the home office there, and I did that with the apple wedger, and every one of them went, oh, my God. I'm like, Never thought of it. Never it's like right, right really cool, right? And your onions are stick with me. ready to go. Okay, now, I know you guys are like... Can you figure out John, my husband hates the can opener, though. That's because he doesn't know how to use it. Well, he didn't. I was not, I mean, this was like, I got one 22 years ago, and I, we get married, and I'm on a business trip, and he's like, I had to go to the jewel and buy a new can opener. The best can opener in the whole world. I still world. have it, though. All you do is set it, it on it, top though. of the can, turn once, it grabs it, and you just turn. When you hear it, sharp. you'll hear it click, and you back it up, and it comes right off. Then it has the little lips with the little button. It says hello, <laughs> and you put it on the can, and you lift it up. Now let me show you the can. Nice can, right? I haven't opened it yet. Are you putting corn in there? That's in there. It's in the salsa. Okay. Remember how you use those other ones? You could cut your hands and the ridge edges. Not here. It's called the smooth edge. And the other nice thing about it is you clean it out really, really good. And you hide your jewelry, your money, everything you want, and you put the lid back on. Now you've got a can of corn in your cabinet when you're going on vacation. 
when you're going on vacation or whatever, just right? Oh, bullet tips today. <laughs> um, Secretary Quick Darcy, I hope you're writing all this uh, down. No. We all want it, you know, mailed out. No, after if that didn't mail. latch a fire, then you would win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three chicken breasts and I'm just going to stick them right on top of here. So we got peppers, we got onions. Are they and now frozen breasts. or defrosted? So they're defrosted. And they're a little bit big. So usually when they're big, what I'll do is I'll take my wonderful Santuca knife. A little bit of this fat off. This is our color coded Santuca knife. Wonderful, wonderful tool. I use it in all my shows. And I'm just going to split the chicken breast. Now just remember if you take two chicken breasts, take them to work, throw them in the Little round covered baker, and I bet you watch all the people that come flying in there. What are you cooking? What are you making? In eight minutes. The peppers, the onions, all go in the bottom. Chicken goes right on top of them. I'm going to wash my hands before I touch my. Um, supposed to sing Happy Birthday. Yeah. You wash your hands. Or the alphabet. Sing out happy birthday. Oh, That's all I was like, yeah. yeah. Thank you. A kindergarten teacher said to me one day, she said, oh. That's what we teach our kindergartners. <laughs> okay, and then what I'm using is, I'm using our um, Southwest seasoning and our Chipotle rub. And all I'm going to do is just put it right on top. Get autographed DVDs of this. We can remember all the yeah. tips too. I was thinking it was going to be on HGTV. It'll be yeah. on YouTube. Uh -huh. Please. Yeah. I'll see Andy. The dip's really good. You guys can come up here. Yeah, you guys should try that dip. <laughs> I don't know how to. <laughs> all right, so I was going to say, all right, I'm ready. Okay, so I'm throwing Chipotle and Southwest. I got corn in it. Yeah, it does have corn. I guess you have to open it if you want to use it, right? Now, Pamper Chef is a huge seasoned pantry. You know, people are like, oh, you guys are in line with, um, what's that other company? Uh, Tastefully Simple or something. Pamper Chef is more of the seasonings. It is Tastefully Simple is more of the dips and the, okay. So, you guys see it? We're going to put the brick oven in the microwave. That's it. Now, say for instance, I wasn't doing a show. Just think how fast. All you have to do is slice the peppers, throw it in there, through the onion, throw the chicken in. You can be if, done. If we didn't have to listen to all the blah, 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 blah. Oh. <laughs> is that on video? Keep that on video. <laughs> 17. No, it doesn't. Okay, so what I did was, okay, it's in the microwave. What I'm going to do with the tortillas is I'm going to take corn tortillas, I'm going to place them in the bottom of this, I'm going to take a little damp paper towel, put it on top of that, and then put the flour ones on top of that. Put it in the microwave for a minute and a half. And your tortillas are warm, and they will always stay warm. As long as you got, the, you know, you get those plastic ones, and they don't stay warm very long. You leave them in this, they'll stay nice and warm. And then the other thing we're going to do is, I'm going to tell you guys about it, is you talk about the cake. We're going to make a, a, a molten lava cake in the deep covered baker. I'm going to show you guys 10 minutes in the microwave. A lava cake. You can actually do it in this bowl. If you, like, you see right now that we did the cake, inside the batter bowl, mix it in here, and what you would do is take three quarters of the tub of frosting, stick it in the middle, put saran wrap over the top, and poke three holes, put it in the microwave for 10 minutes. Or just get a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> then when you take it out... Wait, 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 what do you do? You put it so you the batter, you take three quarters... Of it's just a regular Duncan Hines chocolate cake. John, the frosting and dump it in the middle? You dump the frosting in the middle, three quarters of the tub, put saran wrap over the top, poke three holes in it. Put it in the microwave for 10 minutes. When you take it out, make sure that you have a dish that has a, a lip on it. Because what you do is you put the dish with the lip and you flip it over. And when you lift the batter bowl up, it just lavas out. Aww. 
<laughs> and will it slide oh, right out? Did you have to spray the? I can't remember when I made barbecue cake without no. working on it. No. Nope. I didn't think I sprayed it. Nope. Oh, this is what I so we're going to leave that here. Just so you know, this goes in the microwave. It goes in the oven without the lid on. Without the Barbie. And it also without Barbie. Without Barbie. And it also goes in the freezer. Oh, she put the Barbie in there. In the middle, the cake. She thought it was gonna. She thought they needed to be inside before you bake. Yeah. I mean, it was her head. You had some No, her feet. Yeah, she put her feet in, and she's like, right. she thought it was gonna yeah, bake around her, and it melted. Oh, yeah. And then she called Pamper Chef because it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> so what we're just I'm showing you guys. But I would have known not to put the Well, like I always say, I'm not the perfect chef. I'm the Pamper Chef. <laughs> you know, with, and that's what's nice about this job. You know. When I first started, I thought, oh, you know, it's direct sales. I'm not going to make any money, you know. So Paper Chef says that if you work one day a week, you would make one day a week, which is four days a month, you'd make between $400 and $700. If you work twice a week, you make anywhere between $800 and $1,200. Now, what was nice for me is, yeah, I, I'm doing that, but my checks are a little over $3,200 a month because I have a team underneath me. I built the team underneath me. And what's nice is I'm... Like when I promote another director this month, is it just goes up, you know, with people under you. So yeah, it's it's been a blast. Now we are going to play a little game, and then you guys can um, wait till the the cake comes out. What I'd like everybody to do is to look in the book and find your favorite product. Got it. I already know what it is. And what page it's on? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's not a project. It's not a project that you, not, not a product. Not a product that you want to buy. It's a product that you already have. Oh, there's so many. Oh, my God. Some of them are those basics, like the apple thing. So all you got, turn to that page. <laughs> Where is that flour sifter thing? Everyone's going to say that. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Definitely. Oh. Okay, that's what I'm on. And just so you know, when the chicken comes out, I'm going to use our salad choppers. Like I told you, my two favorite things are the deep covered baker and the salad choppers. What's nice about the salad choppers is it chops salad really good and does a really great chopped salad. However, it chops meats. It will shred your meats. And you'll see, you know, because that's how I'm going to do the chicken and the peppers and everything, just how fine it'll get it or how coarse. What's nice about the uh, pork tenderloins, if you take the salad choppers and chop one right after the other, it actually slices it for you. Because you see the two blades, it'll slice it in pieces. And then you just clean it with soap and water? I'm sorry? You just clean it with soap and water? I do. I do not put it in my dishwasher. Yeah, right. Although I don't have one. I don't have a dishwasher? She puts it in her dishwasher. No, I don't have a dishwasher. I'm in my parents' old house. Okay, we're going to go around the room and... Tell, we'll start with you, Pam. And we'll go around. Tell us what page and what your favorite product is and what you like about it. I'm not done yet. Yeah, I haven't found mine That's okay. She can start. Um, page 52, the mini serving spatula. Yes, I just use it all the time. It's perfect for brownies. <laughs> I don't know. I think I just use that. Oh, actually. All right, I have another one. Two of them. No, that's one of them. I have a few favorites, but that's one of them. Now they have the new one that's out, and it doesn't. It's all together. It won't come out. I actually have two. I have the um, professional shears. They're they're new and improved, clearly. But I have the old white ones, white ones. that go in the little. These tray. are the new ones. And um, I still have them. I use them almost every day for the last 22 years. They're awesome. So I'm just going to get a new pair because I think they need to be upgraded. And then I have the uh, stone, the bar pan. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the tips I got at a Pamper Chef party was um, to make bacon in it. So, like, you know, instead of standing mm -hmm. over the stove with the bacon spider everywhere, you can put a whole pound of bacon um, in it. Just stick it in your oven at 350 for like 30 minutes while you're taking a shower or doing anything. It doesn't splatter all over your oven. You take it out and it's what awesome. What thing was that that you're doing? It's the stoneware bar pan. Oh, and then you can be super. On the next oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Taste the bacon. No. I mean, I've made a small crock pot to work, so I could, I'm trying to cut carbs, so I'm putting meat and cooking it in the crock pot because I hate meat in the microwave. It tastes funny. To you took the crock pot to work with you? Yeah. The but company. now, if I use this, really I can put the meat in the microwave. What? They think I'm a dwarf. I'm going to use it. Yeah. <laughs> I 
gave up curing a long time ago. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> but the other thing that I was just telling them that I got at my party that I've used that is amazing is the garlic slicer and peeler. Uh, so the peeler, you put oh, the garlic in and you roll it. Here, do you want this? And it takes the skin off it. And then you take the... Um, the yeah. slicer, you basically yeah. put the yeah. garlic but in it, where my and it's got a thing in it, you and you twist, and it literally peels the garlic. I mean, it was in my bag. I'm Very Italian, long. and I stay That's away from garlic, fresh garlic because I hate having to cut it up and stuff. Yes. I always buy the bottled stuff. Mm. This mm. is amazing. And this is the garlic yeah, yeah. press. The garlic yeah. press? But the garlic slicer, I did wash it at home. I guess I didn't throw it in my bag. What's nice about the garlic slicer is, is you throw the garlic in this... What page is that? Yeah. Uh, 49. It's on page 49. The garlic slicer, you throw it in this tube and you twist it and it pencil sharpens it yes, it's like into it pieces. It shaves it. Incredible. Now you can do yeah. nuts, you can do chocolate, you can do all kinds of things in it. Ginger. Yeah, ginger. It just shaves it, which is phenomenal. Well, this, what he showed you, that's how you get the skin off. This. So you roll it and it takes the skin off. Here, I can show you that. I have a piece of garlic here. And all you do is you just put it right in the middle of the tube. Place it on this hard surface and you roll it. There's your garlic. And then you take that and you put it in this thing. Too bad he doesn't have in your and you insert it and then it's got a thing you push into it and then you just it's, it's like really? It is. It's kinda like a pencil sharpener. Just say hello. Just wave, say hello. Hi there! Hi, Michael. Oh my Michael. God. Okay, every microwave is different. So I am going to check the chicken to make sure that it's cooked. But I am going to walk around and just show you guys. Remember I told you about the juice I didn't put in there? Show them the broth. Do you show them the broth. broth. You see the broth? No, I'm good. Yeah. Oh, fish. Wow. Free, yeah. or you can get it half um, price. And I am going to tell you, and I know everybody comes I and they think, oh, I don't want to book a show. I don't want to book a show. In the month of June, actually, for, um, uh -huh. for, uh -huh. for Nancy is... Say, for instance, like, say three of you, out of all of you, booked a show. In the month of June, for the host in the month of June, they get two 60% items in the catalog. Anything you want in the catalog, 60% off, two of them, when you hit 650 in sales. Now, if Nancy came, if, you know, if you book tonight off of Nancy, and she comes to your show, she gets the same thing. So, if, just say, for instance, three of you booked in June. She gets six 60% off items in the catalog. Anything mm -hmm. she wants. <laughs> Phenomenal deal, right? So, I will come to your home and Sandy will come with me. <laughs> However, I when we go to your show, we would do something different, like the raw pasta in here that I did at Kathy's house. Which I've done. All right, Phenomenal, yeah. right? Or the, it wasn't it good? Or the pork. No, you, is that hot? Oh, don't touch it. Okay. Huh? You just moved it around. It's, it's, hot. it's very hot. It is hot. I'm okay. just so used to it. You know, I know where it is. Okay. It's very I, I just hot. Curious. Very hot. And what's nice about the stones when you cook it in here, like say I chop it and everybody has some, and I leave it in there, it's still going to be warm in an hour because the stone stays hot. And that's what I was telling them that earlier. If you have a pizza stone at home, you order a pizza out. Put the stone in your oven for 20 minutes before the pizza gets to Get it nice and warm. When it comes, put the pizza on the stone. Keeps it nice and warm. Okay, so. All right. Uh, the, I am going to use, this is our pink color-coded paring knife, and I'm going to pass this around. Remember, it's Help With Cancer Month, and there are, there's a few items on here that if you purchased one of them, a dollar of it goes to Help With Cancer, which is the American Cancer Society. I'm going to pass this around. I do have the towel, and I have the measuring little scoop, and I do have the paring knife um, that you can buy. So, Kathy, you want to just pass that around? That's one thing. You know what, I need a fork. John, if we place an order today, when would we expect to get these? Okay, items? today is Friday, so I would not close Nancy's show. Oh, Thursday, I'm sorry. I would not close Nancy's show until at least Monday. Okay. So if I close it Monday, Nancy would have the stuff here at her house, either Thursday or Friday. A week. It's a huge turnaround. Because I'm moving here into like a, a new no apartment next Saturday. They're oh, still like just up um, over like Anderson. Here in Anderson, right? yeah. yeah. All right, here, I'm going to show you the chicken. You see how white that chicken oh. is? Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see the juice. Now, if that didn't light your fire, then your wood is really John, what spice did you put on that? I put on their chipotle rub and Southwest seasoning. Okay. Ah. 
And look, just look it's how tender so it is. Tender. Just slices it's right so up. It's amazing. And it's just so juicy. You could have put potatoes in there. You could, you know, with the chicken. If you put a if you put a, a roaster chicken in here and you put potatoes and like carrots or celery or whatever, do it about 40, 45 minutes in the microwave. You could come home, throw it in there, go change, get, you know, and be ready in 45 minutes, your whole meal. But I tell you, my pork tenderloin is my favorite lately. It, oh, it's, it's amazing. So does anybody want to come use these salad choppers? Look, do you remember the movie Legally Blonde? The movie Legally Blonde, you know where she did bend and snap? We do lift and chop. Right? You just chop everything. I'm going to pull it closer to you. Juicing me, babe. I'm sorry. <laughs> so they're not just for the Honey, salad. Oh, I know. Look at that. They're not just salad choppers. No. A little muscle into it. You don't need muscle, really. Look at that. Look how easy that is. Look at that, huh? Anybody else want to come up and try it? Hi. Rose does. Rose, Hi, Rose. you want to try the. Anybody else? I finishing it? No, you want to finish? Okay, so then I just, you know, since I do it all the time, I'm just going to do it really fast, and you guys are going to see. Let me tell you, I did the pasta at Kathy's house, and one time I was doing that pasta recipe at this lady's house, and I was using the mix and chop to chop the tomatoes, and I shot some lady in the eye. So now I just, I kind of hover over it when I do it. But what's nice about this is I only put three chicken breasts in here, and you're going to see how much is in here. What do you, and then remember I told you about the, the tortillas. I'm throwing the tortillas in the microwave. There are corn and there are flour. As he saunters over to the microwave. Is what? As he Okay, and then I'm just going to chop this really good. These salad choppers are phenomenal. Nobody else wants to come up and try it? Because they are salad choppers. You chop salads this way. You know when you're doing chopped salad. Or oh yeah, yeah. And you don't need chop this way you buy that ripped up salad in the bag. Okay, we grate cheese. I'm gonna grate some cheese for these. Does anybody know why you grate cheese and you don't buy cheese in a bag? Shredded right cheese in a bag. Why does it last longer? It's not fresh. What's fresher? Okay, when you shake your cheese, you are not supposed to hear it. So when you go to the store and you buy shredded cheese and you shake it, you hear it. 